It's an issue many never imagined would make it to the House floor for a vote. Today, 171 members of the State House of Representatives voted to pass House Bill 885, Haley's Hope Act, which legalizes an oil form of medical marijuana. 41 NBC's Ashley Minnelli has more on today's big vote. It's an issue that got the attention of an unlikely champion. I have uh, respect for Alan Peake to actually get in front of this and do it. Uh, and I think when he thinks something's right, he's going to go for it. And uh, that's to be, I mean, admired. Republican State Representative Alan Peake wrote and fought for House Bill 885. It legalizes an oil form of medical marijuana for people suffering from seizure disorders. But a state medical board must approve the academic medical centers and pediatric neurologists who can distribute the drug. Monday's yes vote was a big win for HB 885. I'm encouraged. I, I think we've got a good shot at, at providing a model and a structure that works for Georgia families to make decisions of what they think is in the best interest of their children. One of those children is four-year-old Haley Cox. She suffers from a rare form of epilepsy that can cause her to have up to 100 seizures a day. Haley's been in the hospital most of the fight, and um, I've had to leave to come up here to lobby and make sure people know what's going on. Monday, Haley was under the gold dome hoping a last-minute vote would bring new hope to her cause. In the beginning of the session, Peake said it was going to take a miracle to get this bill passed. Well, after Monday's vote, that miracle may have happened. It's still going to be a miracle to get it through the Senate and get the governor's signature. Uh, but I tell you, our small little miracle has moved a long, long way. A small miracle that might just make a big difference for this little girl. In Atlanta, Ashley Minnelli, 41 NBC News. Several senators who spoke to 41 NBC before this vote said they had considered passing it if the medical professionals were involved in the process. They said it will likely go through several hearings, but it is possible for it to pass through the Senate in the next 10 days before this legislative session ends.